Mabu hi, Kamasta Kayo, and welcome to another video. So this is going to be a bit of an update on how the plants are doing over winter in the greenhouse. Got some buds and blooms to show you. And I'm also going to be giving a few their first little bit of water of the year. Not the ones in here though, it's still too cold at night at the moment. Temperatures are still getting down close to zero some nights. But yeah, these have overwintered well in here. This Mammalaria bombacina has buds and one of those has just opened. First time this plant has flowered for me. And this other Mammalaria, I think it's a Haniana. Got some buds developing on it. And can just about see a bud forming on this Gymno. Notice this Echeveria in the middle here has a bud forming on it as well. This is one Claire from Cactus Cove sent to me last year. Nice to see that come into bud. Have had a few fungus issues on a couple of plants though. What looked like rust fungus was starting to develop on this Gymno. I treated it with a fungicide and it seems to have stopped it spreading thankfully. This Gymno developed black spot. Again treated this and I think it's killed the fungus off. Those black spots are starting to scab over now. But overall they've done well. Always is a challenge in the winter time with cold damp weather and the high humidity. Has been a relatively mild winter here though. The lowest it got in here was minus three, but the majority of these plants can take that, some even lower. But hopefully over the next month or two the frost risk will be over and there'll be more buds developing on some of them. Speaking of buds and flowers, this Mammalaria carmine is blooming indoors. Always is one of the first to bloom for me. Even a couple of the offsets are loaded with buds. And this other Mammalaria Carmine is flowering. This was another one from Claire. Hopefully I'll be able to pollinate these two. I'll give it a go anyway. Had one of my Rebutia flower recently as well. And this Neopateria Pygmaea. Yeah, all the ones in here were ones I brought indoors to overwinter, and they're doing well. Most of them look pretty plump considering they've gone nearly six months without any water. Looking forward to getting these back in the greenhouse soon. Will be another month or two before that though. March and April can be dodgy months in the UK where the weather is concerned. A few more buds here. You can just see a little pink bud forming on this variegated gym now. And some buds on this one. Be the first time these two have flowered for me. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be giving a few plants a drop of water as well. Ones that are in bud and flower. And others like this Asterius V type, which is a bit shriveled around the base. This Gymno Calisium Aguadolci Hybrid, again a bit shriveled around the base, so we'll give this a drop of water as well. This Euphorbia Obesa is awake and active. Again a bit shriveled around the base, you can see how that's shrunken in a bit. And coming into bird as well. Another Rebutia in flower. Has more buds on it as well. And again, looking a bit shriveled around the base. This is always an early bloomer, this one. Another Neopateri with buds. Doesn't usually flower early this one, it's more of a late summer bloomer. I'm not complaining though. So I'm not going to give any of these a deep watering, just enough to sustain them for another month or so. And I don't use any fertilizer on their first light watering. They'll get a feed when they get their first deep watering of the year. 
So I always use rainwater, which has got up to room temperature, so it's not icy cold. And that'll be enough. Don't want to give them too much, or for them to take up the water too quickly. Especially when they're quite shriveled, as they can crack and split open. I've had that happen a few times in the past. So same amount again for this gym now. A little bit more for the Euphorbia, as it's in a bigger pot. Same again for the Rebutia. Even with this small amount of water, we should visibly see after a few days whether or not they've taken it up. I'll include some before and after footage if so. This Gymno Coliseum Mahanovici is looking very thirsty. Quite shriveled and has taken on a purple coloration. So I'm going to give this some as well. This loft is looking a bit dehydrated as well. This was one I did give too much water to last year and it split. You can see some old wounds there from that. And this feels quite spongy as well, so it's definitely wanting a drink. And some more buds on this Rebutia, so this will get a drink as well. Right, this one. This is Ubermania pectinifera. This one I have been keeping lightly watered over the winter time. It's one of those that doesn't like to be kept dry for long periods of time. A bit like Mellow Cactus. I got one of those I'll be giving a bit of water to as well. So not shriveled or anything, but does appreciate a bit of water over the winter months. You usually see this one grafted as it can be a tricky one to keep alive on its own roots. And the Melocactus. Again, another one from Claire, this one. Again, like the Eubomania, these do appreciate a bit of water over the winter time. Got these two Euphorbia Symmetrica in flower as well. In fact, these two plants have been flowering on and off over the winter time, but have gone without water since about November time. Right, it's been three days since some of these were watered, and on some of them you can visibly see they've taken up that water and plumped up a little. This gymno has definitely plumped up. The Asterius, not as noticeable, but I can see it's definitely less shriveled than it was. This gymno is probably the most noticeable. You can see that purple colour is slowly fading back to its usual green as well. After they get their first proper watering, you'll be able to see more dramatically how much they change. I might even attempt to do a time lapse of that, so you'll be able to see the plant getting larger as it takes the water up. So on to a couple of plants that unfortunately haven't made it. It's not all buds and blooms, we all lose plants, especially over the winter months. This was a Turbinocarpus swabidae, and the weird thing about this is, I had this plant die last winter. This was a replacement one, and this one has died as well, around the same time as the other one died. Seems like a bit of a tricky one to get through the winter, this one. And this was indoors as well. And my Euphorbia anermis has finally kicked the bucket as well. This plant was never happy, not long after I got it. Although that was over three years ago. It's just progressively got worse. Tried changing its soil mix a few times, putting it in different locations. It was just never happy. It was a lovely plant when I first got it. I think I have a picture of it back then. If I can find that, I'll add it to the video. 
Yeah, just like the Turbinocarpus, it's definitely dead. No save in this one. So just out of sheer curiosity, I'm going to unpop both of these. I'm pretty sure the roots on both are just desiccated. Yeah, completely dried up. Just checking in the pot for beasties. I don't think it's pests that's caused these plants to die. Yeah, the roots are completely dead and dried up. Plant feels really light and papery as well. Let's have a look inside. Not worried about any of the toxic sap coming out of this. I doubt very much there's any inside. Completely dried up, like it's mummified. And that's what's left of the main body, just a dried up husk. Well, uh, what, a, what an awful, awful thing to see. But we're here to learn, so we'll move on. Right, the Turbinocarpus. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Desiccated roots. I do want to unpot it though, just to check if there's any signs of pests. Yeah, same thing. All dried up. Maybe could have saved it by giving it some water before it was too late, but this happened fast. It was fine one day and the next it wasn't. Bit of a shame, but like I said, it's not all nice growth and flowers when it comes to cacti and succulents. Plants do develop issues or can suddenly die, and sometimes you don't always know why. With the Turbinocarpus it was definitely desiccation, not enough moisture to sustain itself. The euphorbia looked like it was the same thing, but like I said, that plant was never happy not long after I got it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably do a full tour of all the cactus soon. It's been a while since I've done one of those. And with spring just around the corner, it won't be much longer now until the weather warms up more. And the plants can go back in the greenhouse. So thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salamat pop alam. Bye for now.